Hi, my name is Jan and it's a pleasure for me to present our paper Shape Analysis Driven Memory Graph Visualization here at ICPC 2022. Understanding complex software requires analysis tools that provide information at higher levels of abstraction. While static analysis tools are used to derive sound statements about software behavior, their results are particularly inaccurate when applied to complex software. In contrast, dynamic analysis tools work with concrete data and do not suffer from over-approximation but require carefully crafted abstractions with respect to programming, the most popular dynamic analysis tool today remains the classic debugger. However, its functionality has not changed significantly since the dawn of software development and rarely provides sophisticated means to comprehend large program heaps containing complex linkage patterns. Existing debuggers typically require a manual exploration of the heap, do not provide abstractions, and assume tree-like heap structures. Existing program comprehension tools typically support only simple object linkage patterns and assume stable program states. However, being able to handle such corrupt program heaps is highly important because they make debugging necessary in the first place. There exist different notions for modeling program states. Memory graphs are a graph-based encoding where vertices denote memory regions and edges denote pointers between them. Such a graph-based encoding lends itself to encode and visualize the complex linkage patterns exhibited by dynamic data structures. Recently, separation logic has extensively been used to model and reason about programs operating on complex program heaps. Its separating conjunction operator requires that operands hold for separate disjoint memory regions. Most separation logic dialects support inductively defined predicates in order to model complex object payloads or potentially unbounded dynamic data structures. For example, the LSEC predicate on the right models a singly linked list segment starting from an object FR up to an object pointing to object TO. We combine the notion of memory graphs with separation logic to hierarchical memory graphs, which enforce the separation of memory regions associated with the vertices. In addition, we allow to encode abstractions directly in the model, i.e. multiple vertices can be summarized as an abstract vertex. This work presents MGE, the Memory Graph Explorer, which combines memory graph abstraction with an interactive visualization. We first extract a memory graph from a Java heap dump, then perform memory graph abstraction using separation logic predicate matching and predecessor back grouping, and finally, provide an interactive web view to visualize the obtained hierarchical memory graph. In the first step, we extract a memory graph from a Java heap dump and assign each object a unique identifier. Note that we typically do not consider the complete heap relevant for further analysis and only consider a fragment. A user may provide a list of to-be-ignored class names or supply a set of objects from which heap exploration is started from. Typically, one would ignore JVM internal objects and start exploration from objects referenced by stack variables. The key abstraction of our approach is separation logic predicate matching. Given a set of predicate definitions characterizing complex object payloads and data structure segments, we aim to find segmentation of the memory graph such that each segment is characterized by a separation logic predicate. To achieve a reasonable segmentation, we require that predicates must adhere to three isolation criteria as illustrated in the top right. Our algorithm iteratively and greedily matches the largest valid isolated predicate until all objects are associated with the corresponding predicate. Note that the aforementioned isolation criteria prevent the need for backtracking and a catch-all predicate ensures termination. But most importantly note that the use of data structure segment predicates allows to separate the stable from the corrupt segments in a memory graph. For example, consider the panhandle list in the bottom right, where our approach first identifies the initial acyclic list segment and then identifies the cyclic remainder. A data structure may contain complex object payloads or may even contain nested data structures such as a list of binary trees. While a modular encoding of data structures is preferred over a holistic encoding to ensure that a local corruption has a local effect, this leads to a single abstract vertex for the parent structure and one abstract vertex for each child structure. To provide an additional level of abstraction, we propose a predecessor backgrouping which serves as a sharing-sensitive nesting hierarchy detection. We iteratively identify groups of vertices that share the same bag of predecessors, i.e. vertices pointing to them. The top right example resembles a valid single linked list segment with a shared payload. The first two payload objects share the same predecessor bag, containing the abstract vertex, whereas the predecessor bag for the last object differs because it contains the abstract vertex twice. Note that using bags instead of sets is key to identify the sharing. The bottom right example resembles a parentless structure, LSEC, with child binary trees, BT, containing a single object as payload. Here we first identify that both binary tree instances can be summarized as well as the payload objects of each respective tree. Finally, we identify that the previously summarized payload objects can be summarized once more. Our visualization of a hierarchical memory graph displays vertices, i.e. objects as circles, and abstract vertices, i.e. sets of possibly abstract vertices as rectangles. 
Abstract vertices can be folded and unfolded on an individual basis to gradually adjust the level of abstraction. The user can decide whether no abstraction, only predicate abstraction or predecessor back grouping or both abstractions should be applied. The example on the left is inspired by the SpecJPB2000 benchmark and contains a corrupt seemingly linked list with complex payload. Predicate abstraction identifies the stable list segment LSEC and the cyclic list segment cycle. Predicates further allow to summarize the complex payload as a single abstract vertex such that they can be grouped together by a predecessor back grouping. The example on the right illustrates a Java linked list containing a shared payload object, i.e. the payload has been added twice. Here, predicate abstraction allows to summarize all objects related to the list and predecessor back grouping highlights the shared payload. Due to a bug in the GNU compiler, the RTL tree structure might contain a cycle, which caused the compiler to get stuck in an endless loop. Spotting the cycle in a flat memory graph with no abstractions applied is tedious. Note here that the predicate abstraction can employ different predicates. Here, using a DAX segment instead of a binary tree segment provides a much better abstraction. Note that cycles can neither appear within a binary tree nor a DAX segment, hence the corrupt edge leading to a cycle must be between two different groups. The edge can directly be spotted when using the DAX segment predicate and displaying abstract vertices in folded state. In summary, we presented a novel memory graph abstraction for Java heap terms where we use separation logic predicates to encode payloads and data structure segments. Considering segments enables a robust analysis in the context of heaps containing corrupt data structures. Regarding future work, we want to detect and highlight corrupt pointers and support additional abstraction techniques. The source code of our memory graph explorer tool, MGE, is available online. A detailed description of our approach can be found in our paper. I look forward to seeing you all at the conference.